Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Inconsequential Runner and we make these videos for you as runners to ask the burning questions you have with a coach and Coach Mark, that's you. Hello Coach Mark. Oh, hi, hi Darcy. Um, can't wait to hear what question you got for me. <laughs> well, let's just dive straight into it. Just before we do, um, for those of you that might be joining us for the first time, these are about short, sharp videos, um, no clickbait or anything like that, which is why you get the um, the the thumbnail version of just us. But what we do focus on is just quality content, one question at a time, so you can take one thing that you learn from each of these videos to apply to your running just so you can run happier. You'll be faster too, by the way. Coach Mark, the question we've got for you, and this is a big one, is how important are rest days? And you can be really honest with me because with the training plans you put together for me, they're usually five day running training plans. And I know I pushed back and I was like, give me six days at least. And I don't know if you've just rolled over on that one or you've been very strategic in terms of, that other day you've given me, it's only like a 5K run, so to make sure I rest. Anyway, oh, for whatever reason, I, I sometimes fall foul of, of that mindset that I think is prevalent in running, which is we're going to lose all our fitness if we don't run every single day or, or something similar to that. So we feel like we can only be better runners if we run every single day. Another thing I heard recently, and it was an analogy someone shared, which is a wet sponge won't soak any more water if you put it in the bucket. So you need to pull the sponge out. You need to squeeze out all the water, then put it back in the bucket. So the squeezing out like of the water is, is the recovery. Yeah, that really mm. resonated with me. So Coach Mark, mm. I'll hand over to you because you've got the answers. How important are rest days? Even when you feel good and you want to run, um, should you, shouldn't you? Let's talk about rest days and the importance of them in, in our running regime. Coach Mark, rest days. Talk to us about them. Yeah, yeah, no, I know I did uh, I did uh, added that extra day for you, which which is which was fine. There's no problem with that. And the, okay. the thing is I think <laughs> you were strong enough to you know, you built up enough strength to be able to handle that extra day, and that's working well for you. So that's 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 all good. <laughs> Perfect. So was that a time thing then? Was it a case, you said I built up the strength. Is, is it a case of, you know, maybe, maybe you should only look at six days of running after you've been running five days for a long time? I don't know. You might want to jump into that or just other things. But yeah, let's talk about rest days then and, and when yeah. we might use them or not. Yes, yes. Well, it's, a, it's, um, I mean, rest, rest days are so, uh, are so important. As you say, I love your analogy with the sponge. Yeah. Yeah, the the the, the, the with, with um rest day the, the way to think about it so so it can better way to think about it is a recovery day really than a rest yeah, day. Okay, I think. okay. Rest, That's a good rest day imply okay. rest day automatically does imply that um you're gonna do nothing and maybe lose fitness, which which might be something that you do on your recovery day. So recovery day can be a rest day. It can be a, a very easy run day. It can be a cross training day. Um, so, so there's a, there's a bit of flexibility there. So it's not it's not necessarily you have to rest on this day. Right. Um, okay. But what what we should do is is um, we start to know our bodies and start using a bit of common sense. And the way that the way I find to think about it is not think about um, that day itself so much, but the day after that day, because generally the day after the recovery day is going to be a quality day. Normally, okay. So you got you got to think. Okay, so so will what I do today will that negatively impact my quality day? And and that's what you got to think. And then you'll make the right decisions. Yeah. So that might that might mean that you you um you uh might do a total rest day. So because you feel like your body really needs a rest day, and you benefit from that. You might benefit from going for a walk instead, or a swim, or something totally different. Or, um, or, or if you, you know, it might be a beautiful day outside, um, and you've had a really hard day at work, and you think, look, I could really do with getting out 
for a run. I'll, I'll just feel so much better for that. And that's really good as well because then, you know, so, sometimes, you know, we a lot of our training, I, I think of it, we're doing it for our heart, you know, for our heart and lungs. But th- sometimes it's quite good to do something just for our head. You know, so we get we get a mental benefit from it, you know. Um, so so uh, that might impact, you know, actually going for a little run. But as long as we, we bear in mind that, you know, what's the purpose of this day? The purpose of this day is to recover, take the sponge out of the water, as you say, and so that you're um, good to go for a really good session the yeah. next day. Because the say say you're feeling your recovery day, you look oh, I quite fancy going for a walk, you know, which is nice. But you know, if you do two hours in the hills or something and you actually your legs are quite fatigued, you come to your your next day and you think, oh, actually I, I don't feel that recovered. This wasn't a very good session now. I'm either either don't feel good or I'm not able to get the best out of it. Then you haven't used that recovery day to its full value. You've definitely sparked some some thinking and, and I like even the mindset change changing the terminology from rest day to recovery day recovery day makes it more purposeful where rest day i think certainly in my mind made it feel wasteful the other thing you've just talked about that's really resonated me resonated with me is thinking about not days in isolation but maybe two days coupled together as a block because you've yep. reminded me of a time where uh, I think for most runners, we do the long run day on Sunday. We, I think for most, we've just got most time. Saturday is a race day, you know, especially with park runs. Some might go yep. there, doubt it out then. So Sunday becomes your long run day. And especially if you've got family, you can usually bout out a long run in the morning before they even get out of bed. So you always try and fit your long run. Anyway, where I'm going with that is your Sunday is your long run day. And your Tuesday might be an interval day. And we've all done too much on Monday, where when we do the Tuesday run, because of the Monday, we're too tired to get the most out of the Tuesday. Our sponge is wet, and we're dipping it back in the bucket, and we're not it's not dry. It can't absorb much. So what, what you've made me think about is think about how Monday works to provide the best for Tuesday. Don't think of Monday in isolation. I'm not doing anything today. Let's make sure I'm, I'm running. But think about Monday coupled with Tuesday. And that was something you said, Coach Mark, making sure that we weren't, um, where was it? I made a note about it, but thinking about the impact on the quality of, of those yeah. 10 sessions. So I will think about Monday now with Tuesday together. Those those two as a couple of days as opposed to isolation. Yeah, that's right. So, so that, that, that then, that, when you're thinking about that, then that um, automatically, you're thinking, well, do I actually need the way I'm feeling? Will a rest day, total rest day benefit? And sometimes that does. Just literally doing nothing might be the best thing for you to do. Or it might be doing some some, some sort of variation of um, of active recovery, as they, as they call it. As long as it doesn't impact your Tuesday. Yeah. And, uh, that's the benefit of pre, you know, pre-planning your week. So having it mapped out, that's that's the value of that. So it stops that emotional thinking. Oh, you know, I, um, I want to go out, you know, for a nice hard run. I just feel good today. I want to get in the sun shining. I want to head up in the hills and do a good run. You know, even though I've got, you know, um, uh, a speed session tomorrow. Yeah. Stops It stops that kind of, um, you know, running on the fly, which... Um, which, which is okay sometimes, but um, you're unlikely to get that sort of constant improvement that you would of uh, having a structured stress and recovery. Yeah, look, that uh, resonates again, because I've, yeah. I've gone to speed sessions feeling about 80% great, and 80% is not a good number because it's not recovered. I think you only recovered if you have 100%. I've gone to speed sessions 80% great and speed sessions where I feel 100% great and the performance difference between 80% and 100% is phenomenal in terms of even being able to hurt myself. At 80%, I can't really push and hurt myself. I feel like I get stuck in second gear. But when I'm 100%, I can turn myself inside out because yeah. I'm ready to do that. And mentally, yeah. I'm ready to do that. So, yeah, what you're saying is really resonating. And I think, again, 
we need to flip that mind switch from thinking that recovery day is waste rather, rather than it helps us get even more benefit from from the two days, your Monday and Tuesday together than, than you would if you yeah overworked yourself on a Monday. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It prevents physical and mental burnout, um, the recovery days. So, you know, the, both equally as important. Uh, you 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 want to you want to be very motivated when it counts, when it, when when you need to be that good because those those species if you're only eighty percent you're not you're not going to make the improvement you will if you're feeling a hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Let's. Oh, there's a lot of key things in there for me. Thinking of them as recovery days as opposed to rest days. Coupling the recovery day with purpose. For in my case, it'll be Tuesday the speed session. But I, so I've got a couple of really good things out of this already. Thank you, Coach Mark, and I'm sure everyone watching um, feels the same way in terms of those nuggets. I want to touch on something else. I want to go back to it because I want to make sure that really sort of settles in my mind too. You're talking about the importance of pre-planning and and removing emotional decisions, and I think. Uh, and I want to throw to you to really explain what you mean by that. But sometimes I, I plan my food for the day. And when I plan my food for the day, then I'm not making decisions during the day about what, you know, giving myself permission to eat stuff. I know exactly what I'm eating at um, breakfast, morning tea, lunch, afternoon tea, and dinner. And if I follow that, the plan is perfect. And it takes out all the emotional sort of decisions that I might make during the day because I know I've got my plan. I stick to it. Is that the sort of tree we're barking up in terms of what you were talking about in terms of um, the importance of pre-planning? Talk to us a little bit more about pre-planning and what you want us to take away with yeah. that. Yes, that, that, that's that's exactly what I what I what I'm on about. Um, uh, yeah, so so it's really seeing how we, how every session fits in with the other one. So okay. so so you, you you might have done a um, a very good session on a Thursday, for example. Um, so say, say I don't know a tempo run or something. Yep. Um, you might have a park run on the Saturday and then the long run on the Sunday. So then, so you, so you've got that mapped out. Um, you can see that. So you think, well, okay, so it makes sense now that Friday um, to fit in to fit in with the week here um, should be an easy day, either a, a you know a, re a recovery day. So it's so either a rest or um, some easy form of cross train or an easy jog, or, but nothing much that's going to that's not going to allow me to recover from the Thursday session and um, perform well in the weekend, you know, because often the, the weekend is, is a big, big thing for most people. Um, yeah. But because you've, because you've already planned that out, you're not then getting to the front, just getting to the Friday and going, you know, I really do. I, I felt good on the Thursday. I think I can do another good one today. And then getting to the, to the park run or well, whatever you're doing on Saturday and going, yeah. Um, maybe I shouldn't have, you know, in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have done that on the Friday, you know, but it's too late by then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're talking yeah. to me, you're talking to me. And I, <laughs> I think that's the real danger that I'll say I, and, and I'm sure a lot of people watching this fall into the same, the same trap, we're looking at too many days in isolation as a part of yeah. a greater plan of the week. And yes, yeah. hey, when you do... Uh, interval session on Thursday or hills or something like that and you've got your park run on on Saturday and you might do something pretty intense during that park run or it might be a race or something like that then you've got to be super smart about Friday and I think too often what I tend to do or what I used to do was look at Friday in isolation and go right what can I do today without thinking about what do I need to do on Friday to bridge from Thursday to Saturday to have good performance in each of those. Okay, okay, okay. I like that, Coach Mark. Basically, the voice inside my head is just saying, "Look, calm down, mate. Just, just recover, recover." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, any final thoughts yeah. you want to leave us, on Coach Mark? We've we've got some absolute gems there. I love that changing from rest yeah. day, recovery day, thinking about the quality, grouping the days together. Thinking recovery day doesn't mean just re rest sits under recovery, but sitting under mm. recovery can also be easy run, can be cross-training. Um, 
Um, yeah, is there anything else you want us to be mindful of, Coach Mark? Already, yeah. great. great. That, 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 I think you've covered it. Um, I, I, um, you know, where, where, once you get your head around the recovery day and the importance of it, recovery days can actually be quite exciting. It's 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 almost like you're um, you're readying yourself for a great session the next day. It's almost like a you know a pre preparation for it. Um, you know, you're, you're 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 refreshing your mind and your body, and you're thinking about the the great session you're going to do tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and again, it, then it, then it becomes a very positive part of your week and um, an enjoyable part of your week. A, a recovery day when it's well earned is is a wonderful a wonderful day. If all yeah. your days are recovery days, then you need to look at maybe getting your pulling your finger out and doing a bit more training. But <laughs> but if you're if you're if you're doing good training on those hard days, a, a well earned recovery day is uh, yeah great. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Coach Mark, hey, uh, thank you so much. Um, I know certainly at the end of a recovery day, I'll, I'll call them now, I usually fall asleep excited about thinking about what I'm going to do the next day for, for intervals. It's literally the last thought in my head before I fall asleep. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know if that's a problem or not. Maybe that's another video, you know, maybe a <laughs> psychological help. But, that's uh, good. I think that's good. All right. I'll take that. I'll take that. Cheers. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Coach Mark. Recovery days and the importance of them. Um, that's that's super helpful. That's super helpful. And I think for some of us where we have the flame burn a little bit too much and a little bit too brightly for too many days in a row, and that doesn't help us overall, I think that's helped us understand that, look, recovery days are, are really an intelligent part of the overall training plan, and we need to be really clever uh, um, about them and, and making sure that they have a role to play as important almost as any other day um, in combination with any other day. Coach Mark, again, thank you so much. We'll be catching up again soon. For those of you watching, you know, if you're a regular, we drop these videos every Monday and Tuesday, New Zealand time. Um, and they'll just keep rolling. If you want to keep in the loop, you know how it works on YouTube. Hit subscribe. If you want to pay us back, um, for any good information we don't accept money not yet <laughs> we don't accept money but what we do <laughs> is pushing that like button it does help us you know how it works with the algorithm it means it's going to pop up on someone else's feed which helps us um, it's nice to know that people are watching this stuff and we'd like to think what we're doing is sort of diluting all the clickbait stuff out there by being just open honest authentic and helping runners with some good information and for that coach mark we thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Mark. And thanks, everybody, for watching. Coach Mark, take care. Yeah, cheers. See you later, everyone.